This is the chapter 9, section 1, translations. Our learning objective, which I expect on every set of notes that you guys take and turn in for my class, is to identify rigid motions and to find translation images of figures. There's a lot of new vocabulary in this section. The first vocabulary word that we're going to be looking at is transformation. Um, a transformation of a geometric figure is a function or mapping that results in a change of position, shape, or size of the figure. In a transformation, the original figure is called the pre-image. And then the resulting figure is called the image. So we have a pre-image, which is what we had before, and then an image, which is what we get when we apply our transformation. A transformation that preserves distance and ang angle measures is called a rigid motion. I like that, the fact that it doesn't change size, it's rigid. All right, so when we look at our first question here, does the transformation appear to be a rigid motion? Explain. So if we look here, pre-image and image, they appear to be the same size. All we're doing is we're flipping it. So, yes, the distances between the vertices and the angle measures of the image are the same as in the pre-image, so we can call it a rigid motion. The next one here, we have the image and the pre-image. They don't appear to change distances or angles. So we are going to say, yes, the distance between the vertices and the angle measures of the image are the same as in the pre-image. So the key, one of the key concepts from this section is the idea of a translation. A translation is a transformation that maps all points of a figure the same distance and in the same direction. So we write the translation triangle ABC onto triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So the little tick mark here means we say it as prime. So it looks like T is for translation. Triangle ABC is equal to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. A translation is a rigid motion. There's that vocabulary word. So let's highlight it. We saw it in vocabulary, so we might as well highlight it here with the following properties. The distance. So you guys, watch how these properties, because this will come back up in your questioning um, and in your lesson checks. So the distance from A to A prime is equal to the distance from B to B prime and C to C prime. These distances are all equal. And then the next one says the distance from A to B, so from here to here, is the same distance as A prime to B prime. So the side lengths, once you move it, are equal. B to C is the same as B prime, C prime. And then AC is the same as A prime, C prime. And then all the angle measures, angle A and angle A prime, angle B, angle B prime, and angle C and angle C prime are all the same as in the image as it was in the pre-image. All right, so when you guys look at the this question here, T is for translation. The translation 1, negative 4, this means I'm going to go on the x-axis 1 unit, 
on the y-axis four units of triangle ABC. Copy triangle ABC and graph its image. Draw the lines from... Oh, let's do that first. Okay. Uh, so if my original shape... I'm actually going to draw my original shape on my graph because it makes way more sense if my figures are all together. So my original shape is at negative 2, 2. All right, so our original figure is at negative 2, 2. It's A. B is at 1, 1. And C is at 0, negative 1. So I have a nice little triangle. I'm going to move it to the right one. And I'm actually going to move it down 4 because negative 4 means down 4. So each of these coordinates, I'm going to move right 1 and down 4. So I'm going to go right 1. So my A prime is going to be here. My B prime is going to be... Okay, that was just down very well. Uh, move it right one and down four. And then my C prime is going to go right one, down four. All right, so what are the vertices of the translation? So A prime is at negative two, or sorry, negative one, comma, negative two. B prime is at, over one down four. Oh, doggone, I got B all crazy there. So B is at um, over one, two, comma, negative three, and C prime is at one, negative five. B says draw a line from A to A prime. B to B prime, and C to C prime. What relationship exists amongst these three segments? How do you know? Well, they are parallel. And they have the same slope. The reason we know is because we can use the slope formula, find the slopes of each. And in each case, it will be, the slope will be negative four. All right, so we're gonna look at this uh, triangle LMN and um, its translation is L prime, M prime, N prime, with L1 being 1, negative 2, M prime being 3, negative 4, and N prime being 6, negative 2. What is the rule that describes the translation? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write L, M, and N, the coordinates, and see if I can't find a pattern when I relate it to the image. So the coordinates for L are negative 6, negative 1. For M, they are negative 4, negative 3. And for N, they are negative 1, negative 1. This is a 6. 
God, when you can't even read your own writing. Okay, so to go from negative 6 to positive 1, that's an addition of 7. Let's see if we add all of our x coordinates, if they're all an addition of 7. So negative 4 to 3, that is an addition of 7. Negative 1 to 6, that is also an addition of 7. So the translation is, we're going to add 7 to the x coordinate. To go from negative 1 to negative 2, I would subtract 1. To go from negative 3 to negative 4, I subtract 1. And to go from negative 1 to negative 2, I subtract 1. So the translation is x coordinate move 7 to the right and y coordinate move 2. All right, last example. We're going to talk about a composition. Composition of transformation is a combination of two or more transformations. So when we're looking at this chessboard, the diagram at the right shows two moves of the black bishop in the chess game. He goes one and then two. Where is the bishop in relationship to its original position? So we use coordinates to fig help us figure that out. We start at him out at 0, 0 to represent the original position. The first move gets him plus 4 on the x's and down 4 on the y's. And the second move moves him over 2 on the x and 2 on the y. We combine those two together. And he ends up 6 squares right and 2 squares down from its original position. All right. The bishop next moves three squares left, so three squares left, and three squares down. Where is the bishop in relationship to its original position? So if the original position is right here, he is... He is plus 3 to the right, and he is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 units down. 